Welcome back. It's the Bob and Tom Show. We are worldwide on American Forces Radio, coast to coast on a lot of great radio stations. Happy to be here. We have a special guest joining us via Did you see? Zoom. He, he's one of you. He's drinking LaCroix. Did you see that? <laughs> I did not see that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He's I'm looking guzzling. at Justin Wilman. Look at that. Woo! <laughs> a, yeah, you, you couldn't get the orange either, huh, Justin? How you doing? Yeah. Hey. We're we're in we're in uh, war times right now. <laughs> yes, we are. If I work for Lacroix, how come they're always out of orange? It's the only flavor I can stand. I'm switching brands. Uh, that's the wow. voice of uh, Justin Willman. Are you going to mention what you mentioned earlier, Josh? Oh, uh, uh, originally Justin Credible, right, Justin? Uh, for yes, the artist formerly known as Justin Credible. Yes, that's true. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And at what age did you become Justin Credible? I was just incredible at age 12. My mom was like, dude, you need a stage name. Right. No one's going to remember Justin Willman. You got to have a catchy name. So just incredible was born. And I thought, okay, I'll hold on to that for maybe three or four years. I was just incredible till I was 30. Okay. <laughs> and ju just in case any of the other ones cross your mind. Oh, right. Just what? intoxicated. <laughs> <laughs> well, and then I have to mention his, I'm enjoying very much, uh, Justin's Magic for Humans. The third season dropped recently on Netflix and Magic for Susans, although I'm not a Susan. Oh, thank you. And I don't know any Susans, but I, that's one of my favorite features. So You need I, to meet some Susans. I do, yeah. I think I do. Well, what I do is I just put an ad on Craigslist. They'll show up for 20 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> there you oh, go. Well, well, now, I think the new thing will be magic for Karens. Oh. No. <laughs> the latest, <laughs> See, sorry. Not knows. as fun for some reason. No, no. yeah. Uh, and now, um, are you home? I'm home. Yeah, I think I'm I, home. I've been home, it feels like, years right now. I've yeah. never been home this much. Because I, I think you're at my house. I have that exact same love seat. <laughs> well, that's more Maybe I'm at, would, would that be weird if I was at, at your house right yeah, now? That'd be quite well, a trick. He's heck of a magician. <laughs> That's well, the weird part would have been, Justin, you would have painted the walls. <laughs> they're they're white at my house. Uh, so um, no. I love your TikToks too, Justin, where you and your son and he exposes your tricks, <laughs> man. That, that's oh, man. Great yeah. stuff. Well, I thought I could seize this opportunity. You know, he, he, I have a one and a half year old, Jackson, and I thought, wouldn't this be great to teach him the family business, Why teach him sure? magic? And he's not interested. <laughs> Now, uh, Justin, we were talking to a comedian yesterday, Nick Griffin, and I said, do you remember the first uh, joke you told on the David Letterman show? Because he's done, he, done, he had done the show 11 times, and he did remember it. What was the first magic trick, even when you were a kid, that you really had down that worked? Oh, okay. I can actually share it to you right now. Oh, oh great. Okay. Okay. I had no idea. Funny you should ask. And no kidding. So it's the mystery of the silver ball here. You can see it's a silver ball that floats. Oh, oh yes. Yeah. Oh, wow. oh, look at that. And it's actually just a soup ladle on the sleeve. <laughs> it's oh. a soup ladle. Oh. It's not even a ball. Yeah. That's, a, that's, that's amazing. amazing. It looks like a ball. It's all about angle, yeah. There First of all, all um, wow. we, we did not rehearse this. I had no idea he was going to do that. And yeah. second of all, I would have sat here for the rest of my life and, <laughs> and not been able to figure that out. Yeah. I, I, Justin, That's I love magic great. and I don't like those shows that tell you how stuff is done, though. That's a great I, I agree. I mean, unless unless how it works is as, as fun as a soup yeah. lighter. Right. Oh, yeah. I, I just I feel it makes me feel like out. such an idiot, which although we, life does that yeah. every day to me. <laughs> The masked magician. Well, I guess all 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 magicians are masked magicians now, which is weird. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Right. yeah, yeah. For a little mm -hmm. while, exactly. But yeah, I think uh, I think we we ha we know enough about how much work we know how everything works in the world. We have Google. We can figure out an answer at the tips of our thumbs. So I think it's nice to not know some oh, things. Have I you, couldn't I, agree more. Yeah. Have you worked on any magic tricks involving masks? <laughs> Uh, I've been playing around with it a little bit occasionally, but, uh, you know, if you, I feel like, um, you know, what I love about the fact that magic for humans is coming out now is that it's like great escapism. And I, <clears throat> I feel like the climate now kind of people just want to just forget about all this a little bit, get out of their heads. And I feel like that's my, my duty as a magician is to just to remind us of happier times. And it's also yeah. about, about getting yeah. away from reality. Just, yeah, exactly. just, 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 oh, this is really cool. I love the way this happens. Our guest is uh, the magician Justin Willman. Uh, you may know him as um, Justin Credible uh, <laughs> from, from days gone by. Uh, and uh, the, the, uh, the place for magic for humans is Netflix. Mm -hmm. And now, are, do you have, uh, 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 what's the word I'm looking for? Consultants. So you'll call up and go, hey, I'm working on this trick. Do you have any advice? Are there guys out there in the world of magic that 
you can call to help you if you have an idea that you can't make. Come yeah, there's a, there's, I have like an amazing little posse, a little magic brain trust that I've assembled. So it's, it's like uh, a few, a few comedy guys and gals, and then a bunch of magicians, probably like a dozen consultants. Many of them I've known for like 20 years who each kind of have like a different magic specialty. So we kind of get together at the beginning of the writing process. And, you know, I've got a bunch of random ideas of stuff I want to do. Like, Hey, I want to, I want to go to a nudist resort and do magic <laughs> naked for naked people. And they're like, okay. Uh, and and uh, we come up with tricks that I can do without clothes on. Wow. That's an episode in this new season. Are you serious? Uh, all right. Wow. Yeah, by the way, by the I way. I've not got that far just, yet. I'm just by the way, in, ca- in, in case you're wondering, the rabbit's going to be okay. <laughs> <laughs> Um, that wow. I, that trick you did on I forget maybe it was last season uh, that you the, he has this guy believing he's invisible. Oh God! Uh, it's the most oh, yeah. amazing thing you've ever seen in your life. <laughs> you know, Justin. I, I sometimes I uh, I'll say to a musician, I bet you're tired of people telling you how great that one song is. <laughs> but I'm going to have to tell you, uh, the last time I saw you live. You ended the show with the greatest card trick I have ever seen. And just when you think it's the greatest card trick you've ever seen, Justin switches the whole thing around and doesn't even... Uh, it's I can't tell you. It's Kicks the, it up enough. Mm-hmm. It's the greatest ending to a show. The, the crowd leapt to their feet. <laughs> and since this is radio, we can't do it. But, um, <laughs> Boy, was it great. Anyway. That, that was so cool. Oh, thank I, you. I, thank I, you. That was so fun. And I, I, I love that you came out to see me live because that's as much as it's fun making the TV show. I just love doing live shows. So I can't wait to get back out there. You yeah. know, like I was supposed to be on tour all, uh, you know, these past couple months. And like I said, I've, I've never been home this much. And <clears throat> I don't think this is what my wife signed up for. It's a lot of adjustment. <laughs> yeah. right yeah. Yeah. Do, do, do you practice? Uh, what, are your, what is the word? Your, your, your patter? Is that the word? Yeah. yeah. Do you practice your patter on your son? Um, he, like I said, he's got about a 45 second attention span. <laughs> he did so this one tougher, word. But, but I'll try out new bits. I've been like around the house trying to try out things like, uh, I mean, unfortunately, whenever I try out card tricks, I'll leave the deck of cards out and yeah. then you know, my son will go through them and they're all facing the wrong way. You know, this, <laughs> this <is the> problem. <laughs> but I can here. I can try something here. Okay. Oh, okay. okay. Right. Who's going to do under the play by play chick? Okay. He's ha- he has a deck of cards. The cards back in the box back here. The box. They're all in disarray. Okay. Right. Chick. Name any card in the deck. Uh, any card, make it a- random. Ace of Diamonds. Ace of Diamonds. Ace of Diamonds. We set this up, correct? Right. I'm removing the deck there from the box. Deck, right. Okay. Yep. And what's weird is that all the cards are now facing the right way. That is yes, weird. they are. Cool. And it's very, except. except one. Except for one, oh, which happens no. to be the Ace wow. of Diamonds. I don't understand. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> wow. You are the Robert Johnson of you sold your soul to the devil. <laughs> that is Before magic. That is an evil trick. That's amazing. Better to be the Robert Johnson than the Howard Johnson. Of magic. <laughs> okay, yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, that goes without yeah. saying. Wow, Justin, that was amazing. Our, our guest is is Justin Wilman, and he's uh, at Holy home. Holy heck! And uh, what is Stunned. the ca- what is the cap you're wearing? Like, lower your. Oh, head. that's my Cardinals hat. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay. Um, you know, yeah, got to represent. <laughs> okay. Uh, I know we've got some Cardinals fans in the room with you there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Gosh. yeah. Gosh. St. Louis. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Indeed. Yeah. Indeed. Uh, well, uh, so uh, when you go back on the road, w- let me ask you this. Do you take any animals with you? Or do you <laughs> is it strictly... Like a pigeon? A- like a pigeon? Or, uh, you got a dove? Yeah. You have a little I farm do not, there? <laughs> don't use any animals anymore, but I used to when I was starting out, when Just Incredible was starting out, like uh-huh. at age 14, I did an act with doves. I had 12 doves in my act. And I used my sister as well. She would, I would make them appear and she'd put them on a perch. And she and I would compete in magic contests and we would travel around the country and I would travel with 12 doves that in order to sneak on the plane, I had to stuff them into pockets. Wow. Go through <laughs> no. security oh. and then unstuff them into my cage that I would hide in my carry-on. I, it was very illegal and I'm probably going to get letters describing <laughs> what I just described. But, <laughs> Now, Just did, know did you, that that doesn't happen anymore. Okay, and, and I'm not trying to get anybody in trouble. Did you have to um, anesthetize the <laughs> little critters? <laughs> little or, drill did or... they... No anesthetism. Okay, that that's no... a, I, I can't say that word either. Did, did they poop in your pockets? They did. They did. They poop in the pockets. Go figure. 
Oh, go figure. Tom is freaked out now. Yeah, that'd be a good title for a magic special. There's poop, poop in, in your pocket. Uh-huh. Okay, all right. Well, uh, Justin, I, uh, thanks so much for your time. I One of the best show, best live shows I've ever seen. I still can't get over the Ace of Diamonds trick. I don't get I it. Know. I'm yeah. baffled, man. That is a, that's you can't do the Ace of Diamonds trick naked, unfortunately. <laughs> okay. Okay. That, well, had to be, that really had to be quite the challenge. How would you? Yeah. Did you do? Did you do about nothing up your sleeve? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no sleeves, I know. <clears throat> well, he didn't say nothing up <laughs> anything else. Oh, no, 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 prison no. sleeve. <laughs> the old prison <laughs> sleeve. The old prison sleeve. <laughs> Another case of poop in the pocket. Yeah. 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 Hey. There it is. Justin, there it thank is. you very much, sir. I great certainly appreciate it. It's great, great seeing you, you again. Justin, best you. Thank you guys. Be well. Okay. Bye. You too. Yeah, the, oh, just terrific! Yeah, when I saw his Amazing. live, when I saw his live show, it was the you, you think, oh my God, what a great ending! And then he kind of pauses and says, "Does this like restart?" And it just destroys. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to see it. It's he has on his uh, on his TikTok. I know I get maligned for mentioning TikTok, but he has he uh, his son is sitting on his lap and he has the ball. He does this ball trick mm-hmm. and he goes there. Okay, there, Jackson. See uh, where'd the ball go? And he reaches under the table, <laughs> and pulls his ball out and holds it up. And Justin goes. Yep, that's where the ball went. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that's where the ball went. That's what they're here for. Yep. <laughs>